Hi friends, welcome to Time to Learn TNPSC. Nikki nama baka pura chapter na na Reproduction and Modification in Plants Part 3 Poon eilu andan nama andan roots oda type Adi eppidu pirikiranga Pollination eppidu nadakkudar laam paathu Itdil nama baka pura dhu Nama poon chapter la aerial and subaerial modification Apathy paathu rukko Ipa adapathy underground stems Adapathy ipa paaka laam in aerial and subaerial modification, stem has indefinite growth. In underground modified stem, whole stem is buried under the ground and it has definite growth. Usually, stem grows above the ground, but there are some stems that grow under the ground to store food. These underground stems swell and become thick. There are four types of underground stems. They are rhizome, calm, tuber and bulb. What is mean by rhizome? It is an underground thick stem with nodes and internodes with scale levels at the node. It grows horizontally and has an irregular shape. Rhizome have buds. It gives rise to new stem and leaves. Example ginger and turmeric. Comb. This underground stem is round in shape and flat at the top and the bottom. It is condensed form of rhizome and bears one or more buds in the axis of scale levels. Daughter plants arises from their buds. Example Colocasia. Chepangarangu. Tuber. It is an enlarged spherical shaped underground stem that stores food. It has many dormant buds on its surface known as size. If you plant a part of tuber with the bud, it grows into a new plant. Example Potato. Bulb. It is condensed stem which is disliked and stores food in the fleshy leaves. The bulb has two types of leaves. They are fleshy leaves and scaly leaves. The upper part of the stem has a terminal bud and it is covered by many scaly leaves. The inner fleshy leaves store food as seen in garlic and onion. Modification of leaf plants have changed themselves to adapt to the environment they grow. One of them is the modification of leaves. Leaves of several plants get modified into different form based on the purpose and environment. Spines Leaves are reduced to spines and the stem is modified into green succulent pot to perform photosynthesis. Aptonia kutthurkanga kalli chedi. Tendrils In climber the leaf of plants would be modified into elongated structure to help the plants climb effici efficiently. Gloriosa superba. Leaf tips are modified into tendrils. Pisium sativum. P. Terminal leaflets are modified into tendrils. Philot. In Acacia auriculiform is petals expand to form leaf like structure. They carry out the function of leaf photosynthesis. Acacia. Traps. Plants that grow in nitrogen deficient places adapt themselves well to get in. In Nepenthes, the leaves are modified into a flask like structure which is used to attract insects and the other tiny animals. The inner wall of the leaf secretes digestive enzymes that help to digest the insects and extract the nitrogen needed for the plants. Example Nepenthes. Points to remember Reproduction is an essential characteristic of living organisms. Reproduction organisms are divided into asexual and sexual reproduction. In flowering plants, they produce fruits and seeds through pollination and fertilization. The male reproductive organ of your flower is androsium, and the female reproductive of your flower is gynosium. Transfer of your pollen grains from the other to stigma is called pollination. Pollination the two types they are self pollination and cross pollination. Agents and anana, wind, water, insects and animals are helpful for pollination and are known as pollinators. After pollination, the fusion of male and female gametes takes place. It is called as fertilization. After fertilization, ovary becomes the fruit and the oval becomes a seed. To perform the spe uh, special function other than the normal function, the root, stem and leaf externally modify themselves according to the environment. So they change their size, shape and color. These are called the modification of root, stem and leaves. 
Thank you. Please share, subscribe and comment. Welcome.